hey, how's it going? I pray you're doing well. And I wanted to make a quick video. You know, in the book of Revelation, when Jesus Christ was first speaking to John about the churches, one of the things that we must be reminded of that Jesus Christ himself even says, hey, look, I have... I'm the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. I have the keys of hell and death. And we do know that when Christ paid the price for our sins, when he was crucified and punished for our iniquities, when he took that price and bore it on the cross, he made a way. He went and he took the keys of hell and death, and he possesses those. And we do know that at the fourth seal, when the pale rider comes out, his name is death and hell follows him. Because Jesus Christ is allowing this to happen. He is allowing and will allow hell and death to come and to wreak havoc upon the earth. You know, when we do a deep dive into scripture, when we're actually looking at the chain of events that are literally going on before our very eyes as I believe the seals are being opened. We do know that the third seal, the seal of judgment, the, the scales of judgment of the rider on the black horse, which is actually a yoke of bondage when you translate it in the Greek, the bondage that you see upon the whole earth as we speak. We see the hyperinflation that is going on right now. We see that the peace has been taken from the earth, from the Red Rider. We see the conquering that's been going on throughout the whole earth of the White Rider, the Black Rider, famine and hyperinflation. We see that right now going on. And one of the things that we must remember is that the oil and wine cannot be harmed. We are the oil and the wine. The oil is the Holy Spirit, the restrainer. And the restrainer is still here. At the removal or the taking away of the restrainer is when we are caught up. The wine, the blood covenant that we have with Jesus Christ, the oil and the wine cannot be harmed during the time of the judgment, the yoke of bondage of the black rider. However, at the pale rider, the rider on the pale horse, hell and death, Jesus Christ is allowing them to wreak havoc. I believe at the fourth seal is when we are raptured. At the fifth seal, there are people in heaven, so we'd have already had to have been raptured. But at the sixth seal is when the wrath happens, like I've mentioned before. It does appear that the fourth, fifth, and sixth seal happen almost simultaneously if not simultaneously. Could it be a second apart, a minute apart, a day apart? It's hard to say, but they are very close. Jesus Christ holds the keys of, of hell and death. Which side will you be on? Will you be on his side and following him? Or will you submit your allegiance to the enemy? Willingly or ignorantly? The choice is yours. We are almost home. We are very close. Jesus Christ is coming back soon to take those who truly love him. This is just a quick message. Just wanted to send this out. I may make some more today. Love you guys. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Bye-bye.